Atlantic City is still open for business and according to city officials welcomes thousands every day to gamble, shop, and have fun. For the Rowan Report, I'm Lindsay Giannini. Rowan University is booming. An increase in admissions, budgets, and diversity have made all the difference. For the Rowan Report, I'm Lindsay Giannini. I'm outside GameStop at Glassboro, New Jersey, where just in a few hours, hundreds of students will be bracing the cold just to get the latest game. For the Rowan Report, I'm Lindsay Giannini. Although three major casinos have closed their doors, Atlantic City is still alive and well and at the heart of New Jersey. If it weren't for Atlantic City, my parents wouldn't have a job. And if they didn't have a job, then I, I wouldn't be in this position at all. So it's just, it's more than just a tradition. It's more than just our hometown. It's, it's our life. Atlantic City employees say great shows and events draw in many visitors every night. Recently we finished our summer show, which was a magic show, which was very successful. And since then we've had uh, actually entertainment every weekend, some big headliners. And then in November we start our Christmas show. The Atlantic City Alliance actually reported an increase in visitation from last year until this year. Oh, I just love being near the ocean and the weather is fine even though it's October and it's just gorgeous. The Tropicana is now home to a daily magic show that features notable magician Joe Holiday. The show was started to increase attendance to the casino and has been drawing in quite the crowd. Show, but it's great for all ages. So I entertain kids who are three, four, and five years old, and I have couples who come in in the 40s and 50s. And in fact, last night I had a couple come in uh, who were celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. So it's really a show for a wide range of people. Atlantic City is still open for business, and according to city officials, welcomes thousands every day to gamble, shop, and have fun. For the Rowan Report, I'm Lindsay Giannini. A new, large, diverse, and high-scoring class has enrolled at Rowan University this fall. So here in the admissions office, we have a lot of tours come in every day, um, a lot from mid middle schools, elementary schools, high schools. Um, they come from Camden, different places all around the area, and a lot of them actually, um, they've never seen their parents, never seen older siblings go to school. Admissions officers now visit twice as many high schools and college fairs than they did a few years ago. With a large outreach, there has been a significant increase in the percentages of Hispanic and black students. I love it. This is my first year here as a commuter. And uh, diversity is awesome. You don't have just one type of group here. Have a whole bunch of variety. Make sure people. Although this year's upcoming class had higher SAT scores, Rowan will no longer require SAT scores in an effort to increase enrollment. Uh, the new upcoming students, senior class, or even transfer students, uh, they don't have to send in the SAT scores specifically. Um, they can mainly focus on extracurricular activities or other activities outside of school that they do to uh, help them get into Rowan University. This year's enrollment included 2,240 freshmen and 15,000 total students. Rowan it used to be like the kind of school where everyone knew each other. It's a really small town, not many people used to go here, but now that it's expanding and the school's expanding, we can bring more people in and you get to see new faces. It's awesome. Rowan University is booming. An increase in admissions, budgets, and diversity have made all the difference. For the Rowan Report, I'm Lindsay Giannini. With Christmas just around the corner, Xbox and PlayStation 4 are starting to release the season's new games at GameStops nationally. Tonight, the release of Grand Theft Auto V will draw a large crowd. One gamer who already got the new game let us know what goes on at the midnight release for video games and consoles. I actually had my brother-in-law wait in a line for the Xbox One. Um, it was a really long line and people there had food, tents, all kinds of things. Aside from tonight's freezing temperatures, GameStop employees are still expecting hundreds for their midnight opening. You can easily get 200. Sometimes major games do come out and we don't get that many people. We'll just get 80. But uh, we're all waiting outside in the cold, cold and they don't really mind. Some Rowan students are getting in line hours early because they can't wait to experience the new features. I haven't played it yet, but I played the uh, third one. It's really fun. Uh, it's cool, it's like an open world, uh, good graphics, like there's animals and stuff. This particular GameStop has over 200 pre-orders for the new Grand Theft Auto V. The store has fully stocked their shelves in preparation for the upcoming Gamer Rush. I'm outside GameStop at Glassboro, New Jersey, where just in a few hours, hundreds of students will be bracing the cold just to get the latest game. For the Roman Report, I'm Lindsay Giannini.